Yo, what's good? Stu here, Stu TV. I cover all things blockchain, metaverse, crypto, NFTs, all that good stuff. Back at you again with another crypto market overview video. I know I missed last week due to some power outages, had some just different events that happen and occur in the area. But don't worry, I'm back. Just being able to get up and running, gonna be adding things to this series. But let's get into it. We can go straight to the Bitcoin chart, just scrolling out, just looking at the weekly. Obviously, just even coming back, just even a week after doing this video, still we're just going in this sideways pattern. Uh, so we can just scroll in for the weekly and see the Bitcoin closed around 62,008 to see how things look as far as the market just looks neutral, really not too swayed to the right, just getting in your different conviction plays. But let's go to our next article so we can go into here's what happened in crypto today need to know what happened in crypto today here's the latest news on the daily trends so we're going to just go over this real quick today in crypto war coin executive said the project is concentrating on markets where governments are more open to emerging technologies so we can just go to europe not a priority for sam altman's world coin Worldcoin, the digital identity project co-founded by OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, is shifting its focus from Europe to Asia and other regions, according to an executive. Speaking at a CITES summit, a Financial Times back a bit focused on European startups, reportedly claimed that European markets are not a focus of Worldcoin. We see a larger dynamic in these regions of the world, and because we're not a thousand employees, we need to prioritize where we see the biggest business opportunities. According to the countries like Asia Pacific regions such as Japan, Malaysia, and Latin America, jurisdictions like Argentina look more promising with this technology. So yeah, that's interesting just what WorldCoin is doing. I know they just have some ID verification. I know people talked about being able to scan like your eyes as far as with that verification. I don't know too many people that would jump on that move per se, or people would, you really don't know exactly what proposals may people may lend to and be resistant from. So it really just depends. But despite shifting focus to other regions, WorldCoin is continuing its operations through Europe, though the project has faced challenges. So so just seeing how they go look and capitalize on opportunities in the European market. New Ethereum proposal aims to increase throughput by 50%. A new Ethereum improvement proposal, EIP, was slashed block times on Ethereum by 33% and increased data capacity, increasing the overall throughput by 50%, developers claim. EIP7781 aims to slash Ethereum's block times from its current 12 second to 8 second increase in latency based rollups and boost the capacity of blobs. There's a new EIP to increase Ethereum's throughput by 50%, 12 second block times, 6 data per block. There's just a lot of updates that they having with the Ethereum chain they're always coming out with new eip just different solutions many l2s and being able to scale on ethereum because that'll be the biggest problem and draw with ethereum is just the scalability and speed be able to handle an influx of transactions but having just so many different layer twos being built on top of the ecosystem Ethereum Foundation researcher Justin Drake voices approval of the EIP on GitHub, saying this immediate proposal aligned with some of the broader goals proposed by Ethereum co-founder Vitalik and Ethereum Scaling Solutions. So it'll be interesting to keep an eye on that. Bitcoin hit 62,000 following U.S. job report. Department reported an unexpected surge in job creation last September. In September, data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro Trading View show Bitcoin trading markets above 62,200. The gains were associated with a broad rally in equity markets. The main catalyst for the rally came from September. Non farms payroll report showed the U.S. economy adding 254,000 jobs, well above 147,000 expected. The unemployment rate also edged lower to 4.1%. The clear answer is here, and the risk appetite is incredibly strong. A financial publication, markets are perceiving all news as good news for the first time in years. So to be curious to see how the job market will affect just the crypto markets, I would believe that's going to be a positive surge for the market in terms of just leading to different catalysts and more access to pools of liquidity to flow into the market. But let's go over to our next article. So we have Trump endorsed Lee's hair on the poly market. I'm going to go through this and skim through this real quick. This will give you updates analysis trump has widened his gap over hairs on the poly market after endorsement for musk however he still trails in nevada one of the key states that has historically predicted the outcome 
Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump is leading Democrat rival Kamala Harris by 2.5 percentage points in the poly market election contract after Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla and SpaceX, endorsed him at a rally over the weekend. As you can see, I'm not just MAGA, I'm dark MAGA, Musk said on stage in a rally. The other side wants you to take away your freedom of speech. They want to take away your right to bear arms or want to take away your right to vote. Trump is now leading Kamala by 3% in the betting markets, more accurate than the polls as money is on the line. While Trump leads the national president election poll, he trails in swing states. So just seeing just different things, Elon Musk being able to endorse him. I'm not going to just go through this entire article, but overall, a lot of people just have sentiments on how that's going to specifically affect crypto, whoever gets the presidential campaign. I believe at this point, crypto has to be endorsed by either candidate and can no longer be ignored in terms of just the market climb of the cycle. But some people further favor Trump in terms of just a more bullish part and incentive with the cycle when it pumps. But let's go on to our next article. Bitcoin nears. 64k meme coin cycle trends is mog podcast search meme cats have been one of the best performing cryptos in the past year but going by robin's social communities and attention in the market meme coins rose over the high of the weekend as the social sentiment and the riskier behavior among crypto traders grew talks and posts in the so-called meme coin super cycle a prediction that memes will lead the next crypto bull market solana based podcast ethereum based mog jumped over 12 percent in the past 24 hours while bm B's base Simon's cat rose 10%. Smaller coins like Giga, SPX, 6900, Paradox of the US index, SP 5 water, and Fog shot up more than 20%. So, interest in mean coins come at an avid low market volatility more serious crypto sections such as crypto layer twos or storage rising negative sentiments around tokens backed by venture capitalists are increasingly perceived in a bad bet for retail traders so just a lot of mean coins just getting just different buzz i know mean coins is always going to be just a hot meta just to pay attention to throughout this cycle that you can make x amount of crazy gains and just dramatic gains with mean coins so just definitely something that you want to pay attention to have that part of your rotation in your portfolio i wouldn't bet the bank or the house or the rent payment on it but set aside some decent money or set aside some money that it could possibly run and then it could also possibly go to zero so you never know not financial advice as you just go throughout in the market let's go over our price and altcoins for this week and let's get an update there so we can go over to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is at 64,151. Uh, we have Ethereum at 2,504. We have Binance 578. Solana is at uh, $150. We have XRP at 54 cent. Dogecoin 11, Tron 15, Ton. Uh, five dollars and 28 cents then we have cardano down at 36 cents and then we have wrapped eve uh wrapped bitcoin we chain link and polka dot to round out the top 20. so we can just go over to our trending so our trending for the week we have mantra sui so is definitely a chain that's been popping off we have rap bitcoin we have mood ding ai companions SPX 6900. So that seems like a real gimmicky coin. Just seeing what the catalyst is for that. That shot up over 200%. And we have Mo Ding shot up over 2,506%. So that's really crazy games for people that got into them plays. You got Moon Ding, Nero, Popcat. So just a lot of different coins just popping off. Just ones to pay attention to. Let's go to our largest gainers. We got Moon Ding just again at 410%. We have Jen Hansu Hang, if I'm pronouncing that, Brainlet, Little Man Lou, Sheems Token, SPX 6900. <laughs> so then for our top losers, we have Insure DeFi dropped more than 26%. We have Civic, Moonding, FU, Donald Trump, Fidem, Mother Iggy. So we have the Mother Token just dropping, being able to cop that, and then Monkeypox. So just some different Solana tokens and just ones that's going back and forth. But let's go over. We could check out what is the Bitcoin Fear and Greed Index. So we could just scroll through and see. So right now the market looks neutral. So that's normal. The market needs some excitement. Neutral market sentiment for Bitcoin. This is bullish. So just a lot of people. Let's read this last tweet. With Bitcoin priced around 63k, it seems like traders are holding their breath, waiting for the next major catalyst to either push up prices or spark a correction. 
So a lot of people were just anticipating just different things is coming for Bitcoin. So I would say just either way, like I said, this is an opportunity to jump into whatever particular plays, altcoins, these things, last minute conviction plays, because I believe the market is eventually going to take off on a shift and it's going to take off on a significant run or correction at some point in the market because it can't just continue to stay in this sideways pattern, especially with all the upcoming catalysts to end off and close the year. But let's go over to our next article. So we have Popcat leads mean coin gross 1 billion market cap. I know I went over this before, but we want to scroll through and skim this and close it out. So mean coins, particularly with those with cap means, have been standout performers in the recent days. The trend has doubled the mean coin super cycle by some participants who predict that mean coin based tokens could lead the BEX crypto bull market. Popcat, a Solana based mean coin, has been in the forefront of this trend the past week. Popcat surged impressive 38.7% to the broad the crypto market the token now ranks as largest largest solana mean coin by market cap only by dog with and bunk and then you have mong and simon's cat so the mean coin rally aims to lower market volatility and establish crypto sections growing skepticism towards tokens and back venture capitalist funds some traders view mean coins as potentially more lucrative a bit more risky investment opportunities so just being able to get it, get on these different plays, just for whatever chain, every chain is going to have a mean coin to represent. I believe a lot of these mean coins are going to pump. Just maybe some of them might pump more than others. And some might go to astronomical levels where they pump over 2,000 or give you a 1,000x or even a 2,000x on your money, which would be crazy, insane gains. So mean coins is going to be have a say in this market. I believe they're going to attract a lot of attention. But with any mean coins as you get in, make sure you not financial advice, do your own research search make sure you look thoroughly throughout the project and just see what's going on just being updated but that is the crypto market overview for today make sure you like subscribe comment make sure you share the video stay tuned for all the videos i'm gonna drop and i'm gonna see you in the next one